The opinions expressed in this video are solely those of BoatTest.com and its Chief Operating Officer. Hi, Christopher Hughes for BoatTest.com and today we're in a pretty special place. We're inside the testing laboratory at Beneteau and what they do here is test all the materials that go into the boats. Our focus will be on the special formulation of vinyl ester resin and end grain balsa coring used in their hulls, as well as a look at their continual testing process and reasons for using these materials. Boat builders are constantly working to prevent water intrusion through osmosis, and there are several ways to do this. The approach Beneteau has taken is to meticulously test all of the materials that comprise their hulls, from the outer gel coat to the skim coat, and most importantly, the resin and coring material. Not only do they test each material individually, but they test how the materials interact with each other. The current formulation of vinyl ester resin has been achieved through thousands of hours of testing in their own laboratory and test facilities to ensure they take advantage of the latest technology in the chemistry of the resin. This testing includes a chemical analysis beginning when the resin initially arrives at the plant, and it continues with thermal, mechanical, and hydrostatic testing all to ensure the resin will maintain its strength and structure over time. Here we see reactivity testing of the resin, which measures how much time it takes for the resin to cure from liquid to a solid state. This test is conducted to make sure Beneteau optimizes the time it allows for the resin to set up in each of its processes. The probes are thermometers, which are attached to a computer. Here we see testing of the resin during the vacuum infusion process. This test measures the flow rate and several other parameters. Since Beneteau uses the resin in three different processes, tests for each is ongoing to ensure quality standards are maintained. The lab also performs several deconstructive tests which verify the materials and also ensure the process used during construction was following standards. Here is a sample removed from a specific location on a boat. The sample is placed in an oven at over 600 degrees until the resin burns away and then an analysis is made of the layers of glass left behind. Now let's move to a topic that many boaters have questions about, the coring material used within the hulls. The coring is what provides the majority of structural strength and stability in a boat's hull along with the fiberglass. It also has a significant impact on overall weight. The three most common approaches are all fiberglass, while the strongest adds the most weight, PVC coring, which requires a thicker hull and has a higher cost, and balsa core, which when used correctly provides the best ratio of strength, thickness, and weight. Benito has chosen a process by which end grain balsa core is sandwiched laminated between the inner and outer fiberglass materials. The panel of coring is scored into rectangles, making it flexible, which helps with placement within the hull, and more importantly, allows for the complete encapsulation of each balsa core section by the resin. An added benefit is noise reduction and insulation in cooler conditions. This combination of materials and process provides a high shear resistance. It also ensures that should a puncture take place, water will be confined to the damaged cells, with the resin between the balsa sections acting as mini bulkheads. In this test piece with a clear gel coat, you can see how water would be easily contained should damage occur. The resin in between each balsa section prevents intrusion into the next section. The composition of each hull utilizes roughly the same process. The first layer is a gel coat, 22 mils in thickness, then a vinyl ester resin skim coat, and depending upon the model, varying layers of fiberglass and resin, then coring, then layers of fiberglass. Balsa coring also helps Beneteau lower the center of gravity, which means no lead keel for their trawlers. In areas where there will be a through hull fitting, there is no coring. These areas are solid glass and resin. The balsa coring allows Beneteau to reduce the amount of resin in each hull while maintaining the desired structural strength. This efficiency in the reduction of resin means less weight and better performance. I hope you've enjoyed our look at the resin and coring process used by Beneteau. For BoatTest.com, I'm Christopher Hughes.